So now time to find out where Tom is spending the afternoon. He is actually in Lebanon at T's Redneck Steakhouse. So what's going on, Tom? You know, I've decided to call this segment Tea Time with T. Yes, <laughs> Tina over here. I meant hey. T's Redneck Steakhouse. As you said in Lebanon, good to see you again. It's good to see you. Good to have you. Okay. These are like two of my favorite things when it comes to having meat. We've got steak. We have fish over here. And this is part of Valentine's Day yeah, coming up. Yeah, it's coming up, absolutely. So, well, what are you doing here at the steakhouse? Well, we're going to feature, this is a Pacific caught, wild caught uh, salmon, flash frozen. It's very, very, very good. You okay. know, if salmon can have, if you get that, that's got that mushy. These are very firm, really nice, seasoned can just I, right. Can I, can I? Absolutely, right, it's, gonna... it's, it's amazing. And then we, this is a uh, bourbon pepper steak. So it actually, I mean, you gotta like pepper because it's got the peppercorn in it, and it's amazing, and it's super tender. I mean, extremely tender. It's very, very, very good. And wow. then, of course, our ham cut fries and yes. cream cheese corn, all the goodies to go along with it. Yeah, and it, it's always a good meal at teas, of course. And I, I have to tell you, when I just kind of put my, the the way that you know that something is nicely done and it's a good piece of fish is it kind of flakes apart? It flakes which apart. Which is what this did. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, it's, I mean, oh, it's, I, I was super impressed with it because I'm very picky when it comes to most everything as far as food goes, but is it's this just very good. made with a little salt and pepper on it? It's got a little bit of lemon pepper in it, a little, yeah, it's got a little bit of paprika. Yeah, it's it's garlic, a little garlic, you know, but it's not overwhelming. So and yeah, it gives it that nice, just enough seasoning. I'm going to do one of these things, tip it up and hope it doesn't like come all fall Oh, up, I bet but, it doesn't. But it is a good good you know a it's good a nice slice eight of, ounce yeah, yeah salmon yeah. and then they flash freeze it which you know when, we're in the middle of the united states so right. i mean as far as being able to go right off and get it, it's probably one of the better ones that i've i've tried and i've tried several we we actually did salmon a few years ago but it mm -hmm. just it just wasn't you know in this one I'm, I'm, I tried a bunch of them because I'm like, I wanted to bring it back on the menu and i thought valentine's day was a perfect opportunity you know a great thing is yeah. with something like that is if one of you you know enjoys steak you buy one of each, you can kind of trade back and forth because that really is a yeah. good piece and, of and salmon. Then we're and I did, and in all truth, it's it's not easy to find a good piece of fish in middle America here. Yeah, we're kind of isolated from the ocean a little bit, just, just a little bit, just you know, a little which bit. has its pros and cons. But if you like seafood, it makes it a little more challenging. Yeah. So yeah, we did. Uh, um, we're gonna do uh, long stem. Chocolate covered strawberries, also. <laughs> we, 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 we're not going to get those long until stem. long stem strawberries. <laughs> so, yeah, so you can get that sweet tooth without being too much, too. Yeah, I was, I was going to ask. But you know, the thing is, maybe you don't like chocolate covered strawberries. You have some of the best desserts here, anyway. You look yeah, at it. Yeah, we brought our fried good. pies back now. So, oh, okay. So, we're going to have fried pies with peach, blackberry, uh, peach, uh, apple, apple, peach, blackberry, and a blueberry. So yeah. we do the four. It's been a yeah. while since you've had yeah, the fried pies Yeah, we haven't had those for a little while. Yeah, a little fried pie, and we cook them right here, and then put some ice cream. We make them here, so yeah. And then it's our, a taste treat as oh, well. Oh yeah, and our yeah, carrot yeah, yeah. cake's always good. It's a it's a go to for people. Yeah, people love our carrot cake, and then we do a cherry cream cheese pie, which is really good. But our dessert gal, she's she's got it going on. So yeah, yeah. so you can get your fill. So you got, I mean, cream cheese corn is almost like dessert. Yeah, it's it's amazing. I'm gonna have to do this. Yeah, thing too. watch it because it's pretty hot. That's all cool. right. That's, That's right. You see the steam come off uh -huh. of it. Yeah, and then of course I'm a I'm a big baked sweet potato potato person. I love baked sweet. Is that good or what? No, that's excellent. Is what it is. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's it's it. We we do lots and lots of it. And of course, then we hand cut our own fries. So I mean, we really try to do as much here as we possibly can. You know, and I know that. You like to make sure that your clientele is always happy with what they're having. What if I come in and I say, yeah, I want the salmon. Nah, I'd rather have the corn. You can get whatever you See? want. You bet <laughs> we only have like 17 different sides. So you can have a dinner salad. You can have a baked potato, you know. But uh, baked potatoes are kind of traditional. Everybody's mm -hmm. got baked potatoes. Mm -hmm. But not everybody does. And, and, and if you notice our broccoli, it's all the florets. Yes. So you don't get a bunch of stems and pieces. And right. So it's, it's extremely good, but yeah. I mean that's the biggest thing. That's, we're putting a hoop house at the house, and we're going to start doing farm to table soon. I yep, I plant the first of next month, so hopefully by uh, first of April, mid April, we'll be doing our own tomatoes, our own cucumbers, our own. So you're, I mean, you're really getting into it now. Yes, absolutely. We'll see how 
We'll see how green this thumb is. So yeah, but you don't you don't have as many problems with supply line if you're growing your own. That's true. As as I can only can blame myself. That's, that's, that's yeah. gonna be that's gonna it, it, it'll it'll stop here. But yeah, yeah so it's when I ask for the fresh tomato and you don't have one, it's gonna be your fault. Yeah, exactly. That so. doesn't happen here. <laughs> <laughs> we don't run out of stuff too often. We so, try to make sure. So okay, these are special things that you have, you know, for Valentine's Day, but. There is so much for folks to choose here at T's Redneck Steakhouse. And we're going to come back in just a little bit and talk about some more things that are going to be on the table in the very near future. So don't go away. Back to you guys. Hey, Tom, make sure you bring some of that fried pie back, please. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Oh, okay, thank you, Tom. Thank you, I love Tom. his reaction. <laughs> no, me like, too. But I'm, I'm actually serious. That looks so good. <laughs> All right.